Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. So today we're going to be taking a look at an awesome Bioshock mod sort of thing. It's kind of a combination of Bioshock mods. And I was originally going to do this actually uh, in like a cinematic type of thing. But that never ended up working out unfortunately. So we're going to be doing it just like this old school mod showcase style. And by the way guys, uh, I'll have the giveaway out tomorrow. On my second channel, if you guys want to go check out that channel right now, the giveaway ends tomorrow for Ark Survival Evolved, and that's going to finish that, so it'll be in the description, onto the video. So first things first guys, the primary, the meat behind this video is going to be the plasmids, which there's quite a few of them. We're in this weird Bioshock map, it's, I don't know what it is, but like I looked online and I found this, and it's like a, it's like a safe house or something. So, originally, we are playing as a big daddy. I believe it's the guy you play as in Bioshock 2. His name's Delta? Yeah, that's his name. And, by the way, I was actually gifted Bioshock 2. I've never really played it, because I'm more of a fan of the first and infinite. But there's a version of it where you could play as Delta... Or Omega. Now this is Omega. Who knows? But anyway, th look, there's a little sister on him! That's freaking awesome! So you got this one, and then this one with the little sister on it. And that's what we're playing right now, guys. I'm going to third person to show you. So here we are, guys. Oh, crud, I'm in no clip. Okay, so, as you guys can see, you guys can see the little sister on there. Uh, it's pretty awesome. We're playing as Delta. He's pretty sweet. He's got, like, these weird cancers on his back. I'm guessing that's the plasmids or something. She looks like just some kind of weird static model, but, yeah. Alright, guys, no one of the real reason why you're here. Let's go into the first of the weapons. We got Bioshock 2. We have the drill, guys. Yes, if you did read the description, you'll see... It's called the Drill and Plasmid Showcase, and here we are, guys, with the Drill. Ooh! So it even has some cool little, like, steam effects. And it has, like, a Team Fortress-esque look. I love it. So we're gonna kill someone with it and see what happens. Alright, guys, we got some Combine Soldiers shooting us. Oh, crap. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have spawned, too. Alright, guys, here we go. Whoa. Oh! So there's actually different uh, animations for it. Wait, maybe... Wait. Okay. Is it random? Yes, it's random every time. So we're gonna punch someone with it, and it, it's gonna hurt. So here we have a normal combine. Ooh, oh my god, one hit! So, unfortunately, I did not enable the Blood and Gore mod. It would have been a perfect mod to use with this. I mean, look at this. A giant drill. But that's the drill, guys. It's gonna be your standard uh, melee weapon when you play in the Bioshock games. Uh, Bioshock 2, at least, when you play as the Big Daddy. But now, my friends, we're on to plasmids, and the first plasmid is bleed. So here we got my big, chunky hand, my big, big daddy hand, <laughs> and uh, we're going to see what bleed does. So basically, guys, you know, like, I don't really know all that much about these plasmids, but it's going to be more of a first impressions thing, but I know the majority of what it does. So this is bleed, and again, we got those beautiful 4K blood textures. Oh, okay. Alright, so it seems to slowly and slowly drain their health. Now, what does right click do? Right click does nothing. Okay. So, again, it's kind of interesting. I mean, look at the range on this. That's pretty crazy. It does eventually kill them, although, albeit very slow. Next up is bullet, guys. Bullet basically shoots a gun. I don't, I don't remember that plasmid being in the game. So, here we have bullet. We're gonna shoot for the head, guys. Oh my god, that is definitely a one-shot kill. Okay, let's shoot the leg. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, you can shoot pretty rapid, though. It, it's not that bad. It's not too bad, honestly. Right-click. Does nothing. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, next up we have electricity. Let's see what this does. Oh! We just went Iron Man right up in here, guys. This is going to be very devastating. So we're going to summon Odessa... And he's not going to make it to the surface, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, guys. He's Odessa, and... Oh! Where did he... Oh, where'd he go? Oh, okay. You can go through this thing. Okay. Now, it doesn't seem to instantly kill. It looks... It looks powerful. It looks like it kills on contact. But no. Look, it even lit those on fire. <laughs> now, they look like torches. That's pretty cool. Alright. Now, the whole thing's on fire. Right-click again. Seemingly does nothing. Next up, guys. We have explosion. Oh, jeez. This is like that God's little finger thing now. That is going to do a lot of damage. I've actually summoned multiple Odessas just for this occasion, guys. Here we go. Explosion Plasmid. Oh! Ho -ho! That is exactly what I was expecting to happen. Instantly dead. And 
it definitely kills you. All right, guys, we're going right ahead with the explosion stuff. We're going into fire now. And by the way, I believe the crosshair changes color. It does, depending on what plasmid you have. Bleed's like a burgundy. Uh, bullet is like black. Electricity is like light blue. Explosion's red. Fire's an orange. And we'll see what the next ones are. All right, guys, here's fire. Oh, just an inferno. So it seems like explosion does what fire does as well, along with the explosion. But also electricity does. But fire is just more accurate, I guess. You know, if you just want a specific area to be lit on fire, then uh, this is definitely the plasma for you. Now, guys, we're going into the more interesting ones. This is heal, and we have the green crosshair. So heal, I can only imagine, will heal people. Now, unfortunately, I cannot see his health, but I'm going to assume I'll heal him. We'll actually see. All right, guys, I've shot Odessa five times, and that's about the time it does kill him. So I'm going to spawn him, shoot him four times. One, two, three, four. I guess four times kills him too. Three times. One, two, three. All right, cool. We're going to change to heal. Oh, heal heals yourself. Okay. Sorry, Odessa. You just don't seem to win, I guess. Now we go on to light, guys, and light has a white crosshair, and we don't even need the flashlight anymore, guys. We're going on an adventure right now. So what does light do? Let's find out. Whoa. Oh my god, that's blinding. Oh, that isn't even light. That's just something. Look at this. I actually can't see with it on. I can see better without the light plasmid because it makes things too bright. Right click doesn't seem to do anything. So that's an interesting mod. Or plasmid. That's part of the mod. Next up, guys, we have soul. What the heck does soul mean? And it has a gray crosshair. Ooh. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, I get it. Did you guys see that down there? Soul seems to be some kind of, like, life-sucking ability. It seemed to have drained his life and give gave me some. Look at that. Makes that weird ass sound too every time you do it. That's actually a very useful ability against like really tanky enemies like the Antlion Guard. Last but not least, guys, we have a purplish pink crosshair, Telekinesis. Oh yeah. So unfortunately, none of this stuff. Oh, ooh. We got some glowy effects. Is that a pencil? It's a cigarette. Ah. Don't smoke, kids. It's not worth it. We have Barney here, guys, because Barney, he's our favorite purple dinosaur, right? Wrong Barney. This Barney is the one who likes to be thrown around. So we'll see. Oh! It does work! That is sweet! Oh! So, it doesn't do any damage because of course they had to take fall damage and they're not falling nearly as high. But imagine if you were on a building, you just pulled them and... Boom! They just flew right off. Like that. Right onto the street. That would suck. So we're going to see how it works against props. This is probably not the best idea, but you know what? I do dumb ideas on this channel anyway. Let's do it. Oh, what is this? Are we stuck here? I don't think you can move this, guys. Look at this. Nope. All right, let's try a globe. Oh, man, that's that's lame. I guess you cannot do it on props. Oh, I did that back. You can. Guys, we're going back to plan A. Left click does something, but so does right click. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Although I was looking for an explosion, but I guess it's not gonna happen. Ow. Barrel hurts though. So, right click is for props. Left click. Ooh. Left click is for, I guess, NPCs? Cause it doesn't seem to work. All right, let's try, let's try a, uh, ooh, here we go. Oh God. <laughs> Well, guys, you know what they say, vending machines kill more people every year than sharks do. So, uh, I guess I'll be one of, the, one of those people. Oh my god! <laughs> right in the face! So that, guys, is all the plasmids, and Barney, you get to live today, man. I'm so happy for you. Uh, if you guys like this video, though, let me know by leaving a comment down below. And also, leave suggestions for future video ideas down there as well. I could really use them because I'm running out of ideas for Gary's mod. I've done so many awesome mods, and I'm running out of any good ones to do. So if you guys have a cool mod... Let me know down below.
Also, check out my second channel down there for the giveaway and for just amazing cool videos I'll be doing very soon. I already have one up for the Dodo Bird from Ark. I'll be doing more of those. And all of my Facebook and Twitter down there as well. If you want to follow me on that, I need more followers on that because it's getting lonely on there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are freaking awesome. And if anyone suggested anything in this video, they'll be at the beginning. I forgot to mention that. Sorry. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, farewell.